okay welcome uh, this video is going to be a really really short one uh, that shows you how to use Exeldro's move transition plugin to smoothly move uh, audio sources volumes down back up instead of the alternative in stream apart which is just to make them invisible or visible the problem with that is that the cutoff is up instead of lovely and smooth gradual increase so in StreamerBot, I already have an example of this. I have uh, animation called Cheeky that plays one of 12 different movies. Keep your eyes down here on the iTunes bar because when this starts, it's going to slowly fade the music out, bring in the movie. And ready, and iTunes comes back up lovely and smooth. Now then, I appreciate that multi-form Swede here. How's it done? It's done with a move transition. So we'll go in studio mode, go to my sounds, which are here over on the left hand side. This is a, one scene nested in with, in, in with many. And in there I've got iTunes and I've got the microphone. So iTunes on my PC pumps itself into a um, virtual audio cable and I pick up that virtual audio cable absolutely no need whatsoever to be bothering with voice meter banana it's just not whatsoever it's just replicating what window okay so on itunes let's create a filter on here well let's have a look first how it's actually done so i have various i have fade one i make visible and it takes two seconds to reduce the music volume down and then i have a raise which brings it up and you can see I have others as well so if I say level 60 or maybe not level 60 activates that new streamer bot the music is way louder level 50 or not level 50 Streaming bot not listening to me, live on a movie. Anyway, let's just go back and click the raise. So we're going to create two filters on this audio source um, that will lower it down to zero and then bring it back up to a sensible level. For me, this right now is a sensible level. So we go plus move value. I'm going to call this one lower. And then we're going to go add plus move value and call it upper so top two settings don't need to bother about those go to the lower one first and this is going to reduce our mic volume lovely and smoothly down to nothing so it's going to do that by easing it in and out and it's going to take two seconds to do it oops just enter back onto lower so it's going to take two seconds to do it and it ease in and out and then the yeah, only thing at the top you need to worry about is changing the setting to change the source volume. And it's going to obviously set it to 0%. So let's do that. Lovely gradual two seconds. Take it all the way down to zero. So then let's go to upper. So upper will take it, I'll use this one, back up to that value there. Now, this is entirely dependent on you how loud you want the music or your microphone to be basically use the slider to move that where you want it to be try and make sure that the move the music perhaps is not in the red or your voice on the mic isn't in the red when you've done that click source volume get value now i know for fact on this pc that 11.2 percent despite the fact that that thing there is nowhere near 11.2 percent of the way across that bar that is correct and if I now go lower lovely smooth down upper never works the first time so we just come back in here bang enter you can see the mistake I've made it only took three milli 300 milliseconds to do it custom duration two seconds so lower Lovely and smooth. Upper. Lovely and smooth. 
and it could be as loud as you want it that's entirely up to you but when you've got those two things there let's replicate them on the microphone so mic filters move value lower so lower is going to set it to zero so setting source value zero take 2000 milliseconds to do it Just enter and add or use the plus it's up to you how you do it add move value upper well, it is really, but I already have one I'm not deleting it and then I'm gonna set that there that's where I want it to be source value 71% come in make it look like I'm editing it bang enter It'll take two seconds to do it the two seconds is my preference yours might be different and now I'm going to lower the microphone take it away back ever so slowly and there we go back to full volume and you can obviously you can change that percentage now then dream about how does it handle it close that and remember on both things we've got a uh, filter state on each one so this is what we need delete these real quickly and do it from scratch so in here OBS set source filter status it's on my in my case my sounds scene my source first one is iTunes I'm not going to fade it my pre-existing one I'm going to toggle that come in here duplicate that edit it and tell it to lower the microphone now add the delay I had in before was 10,000 milliseconds 10 seconds and I duplicate this duplicate this Edit it to the upper level. Okay, so what I've done is to assign a hotkey to that action, which is somewhere. <laughs> Raise and then lower. So control shift and two. And it's going to mute both nice and gradually and then wait 10 seconds and bring them back up. So control shift and two. Any second now, and there we go. Music is back, my voice is back. No hard cut off, no abrupt ending, lovely and smooth and programmable with stream of art. Tweed smash.